all right welcome back to my channel um today we are going to quickly do something in fl studio in this video we are going to go over how we can create send effects in fl studio on the mixer and as well as create automation in fl studio it's going to be very very you know precise straight to the point so let's go right into the video so let me quickly record something and we are going to you know use that as our practical one two three four five six this is a recording test recording test on how we can automate and create send effect in fl studio as simple as abc all right that's it recording test on how we can automate and create send effect in fl studio as simple as abc so i've recorded this into the track one so all right so let's just name this one as a lesson lesson then the first thing we are going to do is we are going to do a send a send create a send and it's very simple to create a send uh, effect so this is how it should be so let's rename this reverb let's say this is reverb and then let's say this is delay so now we have two uh stuff here reverb and delay so let's color them let's color them something so color this one again another color so now we have them so what, there is something in fl studio that you can do to be able to keep your uh send uh, tracks i'll be sent channels separated from the main tracks that you are mixing so let's just say we send this to we we dock we dock this to the right you, you can see it, it has moved to the right and it will stay here that's two and we dock this delay to to right now automatically we have our river band delay docked here so no matter what we are doing they are going to be here forever so we can always see them you can see we can always see them here to be able to work with them so now this is our let's say our vocal so let me color it so now this is the reverb so let me add a reverb effect here let me add a reverb effect here let me just add a valhalla so now we have a valhalla so how to send this reverb to your vocal is very simple you will select your vocal or your drums or anything you want to add your guitar then you come bring down your mouse to this little arrow here this little arrow here then you will just click it and then here it is you have added reverb to your vocal the only thing left here is for you to control how much reverb that you are going to add to the vocal so let's listen one two three four five six this is a recording test recording test so you can see the reverb is there now very simple in fact it's very easy for uh, to do this in fl studio so let's control one, two, the reverb three, four, five, six. this is a recording test recording test on how we can automate and create send effect so you guys are not seeing what is going on here on the control and so i'm going to move this to uh, monitor here all right so you can now see so if you observe here if i click here there is a little button here that is coming out for me to control how much reverb i need recording test on how we can automate and create send effect and efforts to you as simple as abc so now this is it if you want to now automate this signal the reverb you are sending to the vocal this is where the automation comes in sometimes you are working on a music and you want to automate a certain effect that is going into a particular uh track and you want it to be much larger in some places and quieter in some places so now this is how the automation works now now we'll keep this let's say we want the reverb to be full in certain part of the 
music so we'll keep it 100 here now or let's just say let's keep it around 90 then now we'll right click and then there is something here copy value so we'll copy the value of it which is the 90 that we have keep it then sorry then another thing we are going to do is to create automation by right clicking on that same button so we are going to automate how much reverb that is going to come to the vocal at certain period of time so we'll come back to the uh, uh playlist and now you have seen there is another thing less than reverb under the this thing so this is our reverb signal so now to create the automation it's easy now in case now i want to reverb to be only on this part but not on this part so there is arrows that we can use here so we'll right click on here and then we'll add a knob you can see then we can make this knob as we like we can make it smooth if you make it smooth now you can just control it you can control it you see you can add make it smooth and then you can control it different ones you can like automate it this way like you want the reverb to start here go down here come back go down here again just like that you can just play with it but let me do something a little bit creative let me uh, take off all this stuff now let me delete all this stuff so now what i want is i want this part to be silent i want the reverb to come in maybe halfway so i'm going to delete all these buttons that i've added here by just right clicking delete so i want the reverb to come very very so delete 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 this as well all right so let's say i want the reverb to start here so i've added a button here so let me just say paste value so the reason why i copy to paste value is because we want the reverb to get back to the actual signal that we want it to be at the end so now i will just come here and still remove these ones so now in on this first one i'll turn this down totally then on here i will use it to be old old simply means i'm wiping off everywhere so i want the reverb to start here so i've added the old knob here old knob simply means wiping up everything making sure there is no effect in this part so then i'll come back and paste value so now let's listen what happened one two three four five six you can see there's no reverb test. recording test reverb will come how in here automate and create send effect in fl studio as simple as abc this is a very simple something you can use in your mixes you can like create different automation and the funniest thing you can create automation almost anywhere in fl studio you can create an effect that you have added on your uh, on your track you can create on your you know send if you can create on different things so that's it you can experiment and do crazy stuff but now let's listen to how the let's watch how the reverb is working while the effect is taking place so let's see one two take three, a look four, at this five, place. Six. this is a recording test recording test on how we can automate and create send effect in fl studio as simple as abc so you can see how the reverb runs in as soon as the automation kicks in and the reverb comes in so that's how simple it is to create a send in fl studio and also add automation to your effect and stuff like that so it is very simple and easy i think this will help and if you learn one or two things here please like comment subscribe let's keep going and in next video i'm going to you know create another uh, video on setting up bosses in fl studio and routing your vocals and stuff to different bosses and how you could be able to do 
a lot a lot more when it comes to like working in the mixer in fl studio so please stay tuned and we'll see in the other video peace out